So how do you design a shape like this in Fusion 360? Coming up. Hey, Tyler Beck with Tech and Espresso. So let's talk about how to design this in Fusion 360. It's got a few tabs here on the outside and then it's got this hollowed out interior. It's, it's not a terribly complex part, but instead of an extrude, we've got this curved area, which tells me it's probably gonna be a sweep and we've got some filleted corners, things like that. So let's get started. All right, so we'll start with a sketch and I'm gonna do kind of the side profile, starting at the origin. Go up, start the sketch. I'm gonna use the line command and sketch a flat or horizontal line and then come out at an angle with an arc. If you're not familiar with that tangent arc trick, when you're in the line command, you simply click and then click and drag from the corner and it's doing a tangent arc. The other way to do it, if it's bugging you, just find in your arc tools up above or in the search, find the tangent arc. Sketch from that corner up, perfect. And then we've got a line coming out of that edge as well or out of that point, excuse me. All right, so a few constraints we need to add. Um, try to add constraints first, if you can, and build in that intelligence. So I'm gonna select the two lines here and make them equal. So you can choose from up above or from the selection down below. I want these two lines to be equal, not parallel, be equal, same distance. And then I'd like for there to be tangency uh, between the line to the arc so that it's got a nice smooth transition. You can see it already has tangency from when we dropped it below. What else are we missing for constraints? We need some dimensions and that's probably all we're missing. So we'll drag on, I happen to be working in millimeters. I'm gonna do 260 for the radius and for the vertical or the horizontal, same thing. They should be equal at 145. This is the sketch profile or the path, excuse me, that we're gonna follow for our sweep. Finish that sketch, start a new sketch, look at your planes, and you wanna be perpendicular to this path. This is the profile that we're gonna be following for the sweep. And all it is, is a circle. Now this would be a solid shape that gets swept along this path. Now if we include the hole or just kind of go ahead and sketch in the second circle for the pipe shape, we can do that. Because this is a relatively simple shape, this should solve just fine. If I was gonna have a lot of other shapes um, kind of intersecting, it'd probably be smart to do the cut later. But for this, this should work great. Finish the sketch. Now I'm gonna do an S for search and do sweep. And it's the solid sweep or feature sweep. And we're doing this profile first. And we're doing single path, pick the path. The path is this curved shape. And there we go, we've got our sweep. All right, so now for those plates at the end or the tabs um, for the gussets, let's add those in. I'm gonna sketch a shape on this face, like that face, and I'm gonna use a rectangle. But instead of just doing the standard rectangle, the two point, I'm gonna use a center so that it centers off of that center point. And again, try to use the relationships you can. Hold Command or Control, depending on Mac or PC, and select you know these two lines, and we'll make those equal. Great, and then drop in one dimension since it's a square, and we'll do 350. All right, so now for the fun part, we're going to extrude this in, but we wanna exclude this area. Okay, so how do we do that? Um, sometimes the profile will wake up and give you what you want. And sometimes you need to kind of tell, you know, recreate these areas for Fusion to reference. You can do that with project. Use P for project and select this edge. Hit OK. And now we have that outer area. Terrific. So if I hit extrude, and we're gonna extrude it in. Now pay attention to the depth and then what are we doing with the body? Are we cutting? Are we adding a new body? We're gonna join in this case and let's do 35. 
So there's our flange, and it looks like I went the wrong way when I typed in the number. How do you get back? No problem. Find it in the design tree down below, right click, edit feature, and what we're doing instead is a negative 35. Much better. I'm going to go up to the isometric, bring it down, and let's do the exact same thing and start a sketch. We'll do the center rectangle. If you want to search for it, type S for search, center rectangle. You can find it in that list there. Sketch that rectangle. Again, we're going to do an equal. So we'll select that line and this line and set them to equal. Drop in a dimension with D, D for dimension and we're at 350. And we could write an equation where it would match the two. So a little bonus tip, pro tip, if we want to make this dimension be the same as another, let's find that. So if I go find that sketch dimension real quick, so we know it, it is, it's D11, great. So if we were to just set that to be D11, that's all we have to do in this new sketch. Double click on it and I'll just type in D11 and it knows to make that equal. It is sensitive, it is case sensitive, lowercase d, 11. And now it's, you can see this function or equation saying that this is dependent on that other one. So if you make a change to the other one, it will know to update. Friendly reminder, if you use P for project, we're going to grab that edge and make that a part of the sketch so that it knows to only extrude this outer portion. And we're doing negative 30, I believe. Great, so what about rounding out these edges and tabs? So we can do that quickly with a fillet. So if we go to the feature fillet, you can do F for fillet, and we're gonna select all those edges and do them all together at once. So we'd like them to be one feature so that in the future it's easier to edit one thing all at once. We can do that, or of course we could separate them as well. Putting it at 66 millimeter, rounds those edges, and we're done. So this is how we can create that, that pipe shape with the flanges using a sweep and extrude in Fusion 360. I wanna make sure one thing I noticed, I do have two bodies in this feature, so when I was adding that first extrude, I must have forgotten to join it. I must have somehow selected that. So we have one body from the sweep with two extrudes and some fillets. Hey, thanks for watching. If you'd like to learn more about how to create in Fusion 360, check out my top 10 tips that I wish I knew when I was learning how to sketch in Fusion, as well as this other video that YouTube is suggesting for you.